even though India's indigenous Kaveri engine has not been able to generate the requisite thrust. The Indian aerospace maker Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is gaining experience in manufacturing engines to power the fighter fleet of the Indian Air Force. After getting a contract to manufacture engines for mid-29s, the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will now manufacture the aero engines for Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jets. The ongoing war between Ukraine and Russia has forced India to diversify its defense procurement and rely on domestic capabilities to maintain and upgrade its existing fleet. The Cabinet Committee on Security on September 2nd approved the procurement of 240 AL-31FB aero engines to power the Su-30 MKI fighter jets. The engines will be procured under the buy indian category at an estimated cost of 3.2 billion US dollars. Delivery of these aero engines would start after one year and be completed over 8 years. The engines will have an indigenous content of over 54%, enhanced due to the indigenization of some key components of aero engines. These would be manufactured at the Koraput division of HL in Orissa. Su-30 MKI is one of the most powerful and strategically significant fleets of the Indian Air Force. The supply of these aero engines by HAL would meet the fleet sustenance requirement of IAF to continue their unhindered operations and strengthen the defense preparedness of the country. The twin-engine multi-role air superiority fighter aircraft developed by the Russian Sukhoi Design Bureau has been built by HAL under license. With an inventory of over 262 Su-30 MKI fighter jets, the IAF is the world's largest operator of Russian origin aircraft. The multi-role fighters will remain the mainstay of the Indian Air Force's combat strength for decades. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. Over the past 20 years, India has made significant IPR and infrastructure investments in assembling, operating, servicing, and spiral upgrading the Su-30 MKI. As per the IAF spokesperson, the technical parameters for the major Sukhoi upgrade are being refined. IAF has decided that this upgrade will be done indigenously with many indigenously designed weapons, electronic warfare systems, and the like. The IAF is looking at upgrading 84 Sukhois in the first tranche. Modernization will kick off after 4-5 to five years of design and development. In addition to the ability to carry advanced indigenously developed weapons, the finalized technical parameters would likely include an improved infrared imaging search and track system, ESA radar, and a more powerful engine. Russia will assist India in the assembly and modernization of Su-30 MKI as part of the Make in India program. The Russian help will include the supply of additional technical kits for assembling the Su-30 MKI and joint work on modernization including the integration of the latest aviation weapons and avionics. Recently, the HAL received an order for RD-33 engines which also power the China-Pakistan joint production JF-17 Thunder fighter jet. The engines worth 650 million US dollars will power the Indian Air Force's MiG-29 fleet, increasing the residual life. The new RD-33 engine would extend the operational life by another decade. The IAF has 66 MiG-29s in three squadrons. The Indian Navy also operates 45 MiG-29K, the naval version, in two squadrons for its aircraft carrier fleet. The fleet is powered by RD-33MK, an improved version of RD-33. These aero engines will also be produced by the Koraput division of HAL. They will be manufactured under a transfer of technology license from the Russian OEM. The program will focus on the indigenization of several high-value critical components which would help increase the indigenous content of future repair and overhaul tasks of RD-33 aero engines. The HAL has been contracted to deliver over 100 Klimov RD-33 engines for the Indian Air Force's MiG-29 fighter jets. 
earlier, HAL has been assembling these engines, while the Indian-US collaboration on manufacturing the GEF-414 engine is yet to gain traction. The India-Russia collaboration in this field has a long history. India is also working with French engine maker Saffron to develop jet engines for future aircraft. On the other hand, the DRDO developed Kaveri engine is yet to mature and its scaled version known as Dry Kaveri is being developed for the Indian unmanned combat aerial vehicle Ghatak. The aim is to scale up the percentage of indigenous components in engine production as India's aspiration to have an indigenous engine tries to overcome developmental setbacks. Jai Hind!